Okay, so um, even though I still don't want to be seen because I'm still not happy with the way I look, I really let myself go. And I suppose borderline personality disorder is about looks in the sense that. Um, you know, if you look good, people notice you more, um, and people are more attracted to you. But it's also about the confidence side, and um, right now I don't feel I have either. Um, but. I do feel a lot better today and it's really weird it's like when you're having a good day you kind of feel like that bad day that you really had when you self-harmed or just stayed in bed for the weekend it never kind of happened and um, I suppose, in a way, I'm not saying it's a good thing, but my scars remind me that I've obviously had bad days, even though I'm constantly reminding myself of my bad days. But, um, no, uh, yesterday... I start to feel better and today I, I feel a lot better so you know I I think that that's that's a big step uh, forward again I do find that with borderline personality disorder you do tend to sort of uh, do one step forward and about ten steps back and then two steps forward and then 20 steps back and, and so forth or sometimes the complete opposite like I don't know like you'll be so happy and high and high above the clouds and feel like wow everything's going right in my life I am so happy and you love it and you experience it and you show people just how happy um, that you are uh, because borderline personality disorder is about expression um, you know we don't tend to be the ones that um, hide away even though I am right now, but it's 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 not really about my borderline. I don't think. I think it's just about my insecurities and um, self-esteem. And uh, frankly, I I really do not like the way I look right now. I've put on a hell of a lot of weight. And um, yeah, so I really have issues there at the moment. And um, I actually fell, fell, feel um, <laughs> that me putting on weight again is obviously a part of self punishment because I suppose what I want to say here is. Um, about self-punishment. It's not just about cutting. There's so many ways that you can self-punish yourself and um, even biting your nails is self-punishment. Anything that harms your heart, mind, soul, body is a part of self-punishment and uh, people just tend to sort of think Oh, you're borderline. You cut. You know, you're you're a cutting freak. 
you know, you've got issues, blah, blah, blah. And, well, no, I mean, my first self-harm was, uh, is, is probably biting my nails. Um, my second self-harm was uh, I tried to drown myself. Um, I t tried to take overdoses. Um, I nearly succeeded one time. Um, I burnt myself. Uh, strangled myself. There's, there's, you know, I mean, there's so many different ways. Um, tattoos, even still, are self punishment. You know, um, hitting yourself, hating yourself. You know deliberately eating and making yourself fat and feel sick is self-punishment you know so um, starving yourself is self-punishment um, I mean there's there's just so so many ways um, stopping yourself from having and uh, eating the same uh, uh, the things that you want you know um, it's self punishment I mean it, there's so much like people just seem to think borderline pardon me borderline personality disorder is just mainly attention seeking and um, and cutting but it, it's it's not true. I mean, I didn't start properly cutting until about two years ago, and I truly believe the reason. And I do love him dearly, but it's the truth. My late husband um, cut himself in front of me with a big knife and I'd never seen so much blood in all my life it was so deep it looked like sausage meat it was really bad and for a brief moment I mean it affected me so much for a brief moment I just stood there I froze I panicked and then autopilot came on and I was like, fuck, I've got to, I've got to save you. What do I do? What do I do? Um, he used to be um, in the cadets and some kind of army thing, I don't know. Um, so he had a lot of training in um, survival and um, so I knew about salt and alcohol. Um, basically, if you um, put um, alcohol or salt or any sort of thing like that um, on a wound, it will uh, stop the bleeding and uh, the blood will actually sort of kind of dry up. It's really weird. I can't remember what it's called. And um, yeah. So basically I was just hunting around for any kind of stringent or alcohol based thing or you know to just try and seal the wound and then um, just grab the first thing I could find which was a tea towel and uh, you know wrapped it around his arm and, um, and just stayed with him until he sort of went to sleep but like as in really asleep not you know because you have to be really careful um, and um, I think it really really affected me because after that every time every time I hate myself I just went for a knife and
yeah, so I do believe that it's because I witnessed it. I mean, he really, really witnessed it. He could have died. It was that bad. I mean, um, that wasn't the first time either. And um, yeah, so I do think that things and people can can influence you and trigger you off so you know you have to be really really careful it's quite funny because um, well not funny but like I have found out now that self-harming is absolutely okay. Mental health um, associations, workers, carers, whatever, uh, nurses, doctors, crisis teams, uh, uh, they basically just say to you now, Oh, okay, well, make sure you do it safely. Make sure you do it in a good way. Okay. I mean, sorry, but, like, they sound like hypocrites because I don't actually want to self-harm. It just seems like it's become a habit now. But I have got lots lots better I mean I haven't self-harmed in probably about three months and then uh, that really big thing triggered me off and um, yeah so I did but it's really weird because like straight after you do it well I don't know if everybody gets this but straight after I do it it's like no that's still not enough what else can I do to make me feel pain so that the pain in my heart will go away or the pain in my head will go away it's like if I can create more pain on myself physically whatever I'm feeling in my heart will go away you know and um, so I do really stupid things I mean cutting is stupid anyway but I and again it's all part of the self harm thing I either pour vinegar or lemon juice or um, my favourite is nail varnish remover straight after I've cut and it stings like hell and I start to feel this like euphoria like it's amazing and I actually feel like I have become uh, I think it's called a masochist where um, you get off on pain <laughs> and um, it actually makes me feel better but um, that shouldn't be the all and end of you know there's there's other ways that make me feel better like um, someone just talking to me someone noticing me someone showing me that they care and love me someone giving me that attention it's amazing how you know as soon as you're getting what you want you're like oh oh I feel good now oh, I, I don't think I'm gonna cut now you know sort of thing I, I, I feel really really good like um, one of my um, my girl best friend um, who's like a sister to me uh, she done this amazing amazing video for me 
and I was saying to her, um, you know, I feel like cutting, um, this is before I did it, and um, she said, um, watch that video that I made you, you know, and in that video, again, I'm getting all this attention, you know, she's saying she cares about me, she loves me, um, how much I mean to her, that I'm, I'm a special person, like, not special, special, you know, I'm, um, <laughs> you know, I, I have a good soul, um, you know, like, she was just pointing out all the beautiful and good things about me, and then when you see someone else do that, it makes you think, yeah, maybe I am like that, you know, and you think, oh, thank you, oh, you noticed me, I'm not invisible, you know, sort of thing, and that's it, it's like really weird, it's like, um, with borderline personality disorder, you can go from zero to a hundred in a nanosecond, uh, at any time, and, um, like if something triggers you off, um, but then you can also go from a hundred to zero in a nanosecond, you know, so, the feeling that you're feeling, like, literally seconds ago, is gone. And truly, I should have actually just watched that video again. But saying what you're meant to do is not always the case. Because if you are that low, you're not going to think, oh, that's what I need to do. You're just going to think, fuck it, I'm going to self-harm, you know, or I'm just going to stay in bed all weekend, you know, um, you deliberately do everything that you can possibly think of to not care about yourself, neglect yourself, punish yourself, hate yourself, just like everything, but sometimes the awareness kicks in and um, that's what I will talk to another time. Uh, the reason why I don't want anyone to see me, I don't think it is just because I don't want people to see the way I look right now because of my self-esteem and insecurities, I think it is also that you can't judge me um, you're not judging me by the way I look you know, this is just my condition, what the fuck does it matter what I look like so yeah but um Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm having a good day today, so um, I'm going to motivate myself and um, do loads of things, but I'm not going to say what. I'm not going to, to do that because I feel when I do that, I end up not doing it. Anyway, so it was lovely talking to you. Uh, I hope this video has helped. I'm sorry you're just looking at a blank screen. Um... When I feel a bit more confident about myself, and uh, I'll let you see me, but um, I won't really talk about borderline, I'll just go, this is me, so you know I'm real. Anyway, okay, so, bye!